Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In the last episode, we tried to save our sister Errol. Didn't exactly work, kind of got yeeted around by a bird, but we met the King of Red Lions. Did you get a sail? Once we leave this island, it may be some time before we return again to its shores. Make sure you've bought everything you need before we depart. Yeah, and he sent us on a mission to get a sail. We got to, what's this island called again? What is this? Hello? Hold on. Windfall Island. We got to Windfall Island. And, oh, yes, please talk to us. Oh, please, young boy. There, please help me. Please listen to my tale of woe. Uh, sure, I guess. Oh, my sweet, sweet daughter, my only daughter, poor Maggie. She was captured by a bunch of villains and taken to the Forsaken Fortress. We probably saw her. We were just there. Who is this? What on earth could those scoundrels want with her? They are just roaming around looking for young maidens. Are they just evil creatures who delight in mischief? Yeah, kinda, kinda, actually. Well, crud, having kidnapped, having a kidnapped daughter doesn't get a single rupee, you know. Please, please save my poor daughter. I beg you, here I stand begging. I hope you'll give those scoundrels in the Forsaken Fortress a good scare. They'll pay for what they've done. Oh yes, pay. Sure, I mean, that's that goes really hand in hand with our goal of getting Errol back, so like, absolutely. What are you, who are you? <laughs> what is this angle? You don't look familiar, buddy. Are you some kind of tourist or something? If you are, I'll show you around. Why don't you join me for a little stroll around town? Our Windfall Island may be a little... Co I can't take this camera angle seriously. I'm sorry. Our Windfall Island may be a little cozy, so to speak, but people from all over the world come here. Our town's always lively. Haha, <laughs> why, just walking around having a look at things is quite fun. That's the mark of a great town. That's exactly what I was going to do. So are you... Are we following you or are we just running? I'm just running. We already talked to those little girlies down there earlier. Um, before I go out there, we already went, looked around in town. We didn't really come out here. Who's this? Who this? Who is this? And why is he Mr. Elvis? Is that Elvis? Oh, no, that's not it. That's just not it. And the problem is, even though that's not it, this isn't it either. Oh dear, pardon me, pardon me, guy. I was so fully and wholly absorbed in my dancing that I didn't even notice little old you standing there. I am taught. I love dancing more than I love three meals a day. I will come to n you will come to know me as the world's charismatic dancer extraordinaire. Ready, guy? One, two, one, two. Say, guy, you know what I was just reminded of? Long ago, I met this delightful little guy who performed the most dazzling magic dance. A dance that turned night into day right before my very eyes. I can remember those fabulous dance moves, but I can't seem to get the intricate rhythm down. Do you think you know the rhythm, guy? I, sh <laughs> I sure don't know the rhythm. Sorry, man. Sorry, my dude. Um, but I will see what's in here. Just check out, ooh, some pots. Are there rupees? Oh! Oh look, it's a little tingle. What's going on? What's going on? I guess I'll speak to you, little tingle. Mm -hmm. I see the green clothes and the same green hat. By the look of you, I'd say, sir, by chance, could you be a fairy? Goodness! Did you feel my telepathy? Is that why you saved me, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Do not worry, Tingle knows without you telling him, sir. Tingle is my name, I've been looking for you and your kind, for I too long to be one of the fairy folk. And yet I was mistaken for some kind of troublemaker and put into this dreadful sort of place. How disrespectful. Please, Mr. Fairy, rescue poor Tingle from this place and take him where you and your kind live in splendor. Girl. Excuse me, I just came in here for some rupees. But you know, okay. It looks like there's a little a little a little switch. I wanna I wanna see if there's some rupees over here before I press that switch because I feel like that switch might might trigger something a little 
Bam. It was all worth it. One green rupee. Two green rupees. Wow. I am rolling in rupees. And look at that. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what Tingle wants in this game, what he's doing, but you know, whatever. Yay. Oh, Ray, thank you oh so very much. Here is Tingle's heartfelt gift of thanks. Tingle, Tingle, Kululipa, become an item. What the fuck? You got a Tingle bottle. You, <laughs> Girl, it is 2022. The Miiverse is dead. You can insert a message you've written and send it overseas for some someone unknown to receive it. That message, that, that is, I love what you're doing, but Miiverse is dead. I'm sorry. Hearts beating as one. Just, okay, yeah. Yeah, sure, but Tingle, Miiverse is kind of dead, so. I was forgetting something important. Oh, Mr. Fairy, do you want to come to my... You want to come to my island, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Ah, Tingle's chart. What kind of chart could it be? Head out to sea and check your charts on map, on the map screen to find out. Cool. Open it on the map screen. Okay. It's just a map. It's just telling us how to get around the seas. I... I really... I would love to give my Tingle... Hello. I don't want to look at the game chart. At the gamepad. Um, sure. Sure. What's going on? Don't receive. I want to close. I don't want... I don't care. I don't care. Me versus dead. That's literally irrelevant to me. This, in this good, good year of 2022. But, you're walking around. We already talked to you. I don't want to, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Really, this is just a lot of exploring, I think. Seeing what's seeing what's going on. Who's what's that? What's this sign? We'll go in here, see what's around. I wanna hit all the shops in here. Just see what's what's up, see if anyone has a sale. Who are you? <laughs> Welcome to Miss Marie's School of Joy. I don't think I've seen your face around here before, my young scholar. Are you a new pupil? Uh no. I guess not. I guess not. I guess we're not a new pupil, but you know, it's good. Learning's important. Learning's important. Um, did I almost fail college? Absolutely. But I didn't. It was, I only almost failed college. So stay in school. Is this where, is this where we were? Yeah, this is, okay. That is the, some mini game that we don't really, I don't really have an interest to play at the moment, a desire, a need, a wish. Who are you, little Mario dude? Hey, you there, boy. Oh. <laughs> Did you hear? Th Did you happen to see the poster box down near the docks? Well, just so you know, if you want to send a letter to someone, use blah. Put Use that button to put it in the poster box. It's that easy. Before long, the Rito postman will come to deliver it to whomever you sent it to. He's a hard-working fellow, I tell you. Okay, I feel like that will be an important tidbit to know later. But for now, I'll just store that in the back of my head. Tuck it away. Think about it later. Who's, who's this? Oh, you, sir. You have an impressive beard. That is very, hmm, now. I would have to say I've never seen your face before, have I? Hmm, now intriguing. Beguiling. I know you're just a small child, but I found one. Can rarely trust strangers. Where is it that you come from, young sir? I'm sorry, but the years have made me wary. Once long ago, I rented a room out to a traveler for a single night. The next dawn, my precious picto box was stolen. They caught the scoundrel, yet my possession remains outside my grasp. Perhaps it will rot forever with him in his cell. Why are good deeds so often repaid with cruelty? You may look like a child, but I can see, but you can see why I cannot be assured of your youth. Be a good boy and be gone. Shoo, shoo. Uh, oh, but damn. Maybe not. I wonder if I wonder if that has anything to do with with Mr. Fairy Tingle. I wonder if I wonder if he's connected because he seems. I don't. 
I don't really trust that Tingle character. I really don't. I really do not trust that Tingle character. All right, who are you? Do you have a sale? You people from all over the world seem to be seem to gather here on Windfall Island, all hoping to become successful merchants. I suppose you could say that this time, that this is the island where people and money come together. But you know what? Money is important, sure. But don't you think people need to open their hearts a little bit more than their wallets? I've been kicking around this crazy world for a long time, and I've learned to stop and sniff the flowers along the way. That's the whole point of this game. That's all I'm trying to do here. I'm just trying to enjoy the vibes. See, I'll come back to you. I just want to head into whatever door. I want to see what all these shops are. I need to, I have a feeling this is going to be a big island in this game. And so I just really want to be sure I know what's going on in here. Who, where things are, who these people are, what I can get. Welcome. Oh my, you're a very small customer, aren't you? Well, that's fine, of course. You just feel free to look around. Look around at, is this like cooking stuff? Is there cooking in this game? Lately, I've been hearing monsters. That monsters from the Forsaken Fortress have been going around kidnapping girls with long ears. We knew that. I can believe it. After all, two girls from Windfall have already been kidnapped. Poor Maggie and Mila. Mila. It just breaks my heart thinking about those two. Both of their fathers are desperate to find anyone who can rescue their poor little girls. What kind of world has this become? So much fear and suffering. Girl, I am trying to find them too. I, even though I don't care as much about Maggie and Mila, they come with Errol and, you know, the more people I can help, the better, I think. I, like, why not? Do you have, do you have something to say? My story is a strange one. I came across the cursed sea from a land far away, a land where blizzards blow violently, heading for this town called Windfall. But dear me, as I traveled, a, sto a terrible storm descended and tore my ship to bits. Yet mysteriously, only that escaped without much, so much as a mark on it. From the looks of you, I would say that you are a traveler as well. Oh, yes, indeed. Could you not purchase that from me? It is my one and only heirloom from my home. And the people of this town do not seem to be the least bit interested in that, despite the fact that it would help them travel the dangerous seas about their town. Please, I beg of you. I wish to open a business here in town, so I am desperate need for finances. How does 80 rupees sound? What? Oh, oh, dear me, sadly, I have nothing else I could possibly sell you. I have not but my hooded, hoodie coat, and that is a keepsake for my dear, dear mother. Girl, what am I looking at? What am I looking at? Like, what are you selling me? My dear fellow, I can't have you trying to come this way. No, no, no. Go over there. Girl, what am I looking at? What is that? Sure, I have enough. I have... It is very fine. Okay. Yes, okay. Sure, whatever that is. Thank you. I don't know. Worst case, I'll grind for some rupees. Fuck. Yes, yes. Thank you very much indeed. I have received precisely 80 rupees for it. I know I can use these funds to finance my new business. Oh, dear me. What a happy day. Very well, young master. As I promised, please take that. Oh, period. We got the boat sail. Press A while you're on the boat to pull it out and B to put it away. Yes, yes, yes. You have made a good purchase today, my young master. As you have saved my life and my business as well. Treasure it dearly. It is the finest sail in the world. Treat it as much as such. All right, hell yeah. Um, who, I don't, I don't actually, my voice is already a little tired. I don't really want to talk, but I will talk to you. You seem like you need a friend. Mm -mm. Nobody understands how I feel. Do me a favor. Beat it. What a jerk. How did he manage that? Right under my nose. But I guess he is an all right guy. Girl, what's up? What is wrong? What's wrong? Who did what? Do you do you need someone to fight for you? I'll fight for you. I'll fight for you. Do you need someone? Do you need someone? How's how zoomed in can we get? Ooh, that is a that is a shot right there. That is a shot. Ooh. Ooh, I'm going. King of Red Lions needs me. He needs me. Someone needs my help. I need to get out. I need to save my sister. I don't have time to be dealing with with whatever issues you got going. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. Maybe I'll come back later. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't... I'm ignoring you. <laughs> yes, I didn't want to talk to you. I'm ignoring you. You just happened to be there. Oh, that look in your eye. So you found yourself a sail, have you? Very well, then I shall teach you the art of sailing. Come next to my hull and press A to climb aboard. Hoist the sail with you got with A that to get moving. The sail will catch the wind, which will push the boat forward. The blah <laughs> that appears behind me indicates wind direction. Use blah to steer. If you wish to move quickly, you should keep the wind blowing directly into the sail. You can always press B to put the sail away. Try it when you want to adjust your speeds. Did you understand all that? Uh, sure. Ah, one more thing. When you are out at sea with few landmarks to go by, you will be at the mercy of your sea chart. I have marked the place you should currently be heading for on your sea chart. If you get lost at sea, select map displayed on the Wii U gamepad to open your sea chart. You can also pause the game with plus to confirm your position. Now, a westerly wind. Ooh, come and get it like a western wind. Do you feel home from all directions? Okay, let's get in. Stay on Carly Ray. Set sail. We are kind of going in very much the wrong direction. Okay, first of all, let's see where we're supposed to go um, on the map. We're truly supposed to just be going straight west. So I guess this is good. It says, so this map, for anyone who doesn't really has never played Wind Waker, it's just like a giant grid. And we have Windfall, obviously, right back there, which we're sailing away from. Bye, Windfall. Bye. I'll be back soon. I'm sure of it. What is that? Oh, I guess not. Um, I'm going to keep that, my eyes forward. But we're supposed to be going two, two uh, grid spots over. Um, I do kind of want to check out this island, though, while we're here. While we're here. While we are here, I would like to see... What is going on? Um, and can I get out? How do I get out? Can I get out? Yes. I would like to explore this island while we are here. Because why not? Because why not? Let's read this sign. I mean, just the more, the more islands we can find. To reach Dragon Roost Island, head east from here. Okay. Um... I mean, I guess we are heading east, I guess. I don't really know. Uh, can we climb? Can we, we just spent all of our rupees. So I guess as I'm going back, if I can get one rupee from this place, it'll be worth it, I think. But it, uh, no rupees? No, okay. No rupees, I guess. Damn, tough crowd. All right. They really... <laughs> They're like, no, you're going. You're going back. You're getting, you're going to where we want you to go and nowhere else. Can I, can we, what is this? What is this? Can we not, excuse me? Can I talk to y'all? What's going, Ex what is this? Who are those people? <laughs> Damn. All right, I guess I'll, I'll just keep going, I guess. Ooh. Rupees. This is what I this is what I was want. This is what we've been waiting for. This is what we've wanted all along. Rupees. It's truly just what I was looking for. Rupees. Rupees. Oh, I am not above going out of my way for rupees. Especially right now. Um. And you know what? I think. I think I will. I think I sure will try and see what's going on here. What what are you doing? Are you gonna just yeah, you're just gonna kinda fall into the ocean. Um is it just more rupees here? Is that all these are? Are these just rupees? Or is there something we can do here? Oh. Three rupees. You know that's pretty that's way better than just one rupee. 
I sure do. I will say that I will go out on a limb right now and say that three rupees are better than one. I just, it's just math. It's the math is mathing on that one. Also, can we zoom out a little bit? Thank you. Cause damn. Being zoomed in so close is not really, that's not the vibe. It really is not. Is this, okay. Some rupees. I really am just gonna try and collect all of these rupees. It seems like that started like a little, almost mini game. Oh, but mini game cut short for a cutscene. There on the horizon. That is our destination, Lonk Dragon Roost Island. Ooh, hell yeah, we got another, another island. Full island, it looks like. This seems very involved. High atop the island's peak lives the spirit of the skies, a great dragon by the name of Valu. Mm, I see some blue, some blue rupees, some more rupees. I just see rupees everywhere. You must go see this dragon and request from him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. Okay, I can do that. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait just a moment. This is the Wind Waker. It is a baton of sorts that was used long ago when people played musics in prayer to the gods. In those days, simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods, but I do not know if it still works. Even so, I thought it might be important. It might be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. Sure. The titular Wind Waker, first, conduct in 3-4 time. Do not touch L. Just try and match the rhythm by tilting R in those directions. Okay. All right, so, uh, down. All right, let's, this, this is so wrong. Hello? Can we, there we go. That, that took so much concentration to hello. Very nice, that was splendid. No, it wasn't, that was, that was shit. Next is four, four time. Hold L to change the rhythm, then match the rhythm and tilt blah. Girl, what? Uh, hello? Excuse me, what is going... Hello? That, this make, that doesn't make any sense. That's it, Lonk. That was not bad for your first time using the Wind Waker. Not bad at all. You can also conduct with it in 6-4 time by tilting blah. You would do well to remember that. Oh, okay, I think I get it. It just defaults to 3-4, but you can tilt left to change to 4-4 or right to change to 6-4. You don't actually have to move L all that much. You receive the legendary Wind Waker. By using this magical conductor's baton, you can borrow the power of the gods. Use blah to conduct. Don't tilt, but yeah, okay, okay. We're good, we're good. Oh, no actual moving, just, just only moving to, uh, what? Ah, Wind Waker's up, okay. No actual tilting, just the one movement of L. All right, I'm gonna look around. We haven't been here all that much at all. All right, wind shrine or mail center. I, I'm gonna go to the mail center. The king of red dragons said to talk to people, and it seems like talking to people is, I mean, the wind will, the mail center is gonna have people to talk to. But first, it looks like we have some bombs. Danger, do not attack the explosive fruit. Can we pick up the bomb? Hell, yes we can. All right, we got bombs, kind of. Kind of. Um, so let's use these, yes, there we go. This is exactly what we needed. Um, we're gonna use these to blow some shit up. Oh, including ourselves, I guess, it looks like. 
Um, but what's what's around here? I would like to blow up as much of this as I can. Yeah, thank you. I need at least one of those hearts. What what does this sign say? What is what's over here? <laughs> Period. Period. Straight to the point. No fucking around. No fucking around with that sign. It's are these related to the Super Mario Galaxy signs? Fillboard, billboard, gillboard, jillboard. And why is there no willboard? That's what I want to know. What happened to willboard? Willboard deserves love. Willboard deserves um, recognition. Mail center. Okay. Is that close enough that I can... Can I jump that? I don't think I can jump that quite yet. So I am not going to try and jump jumping it quite yet but it does look like we need to do some fast some fast running and carrying and throwing and you know maybe aim a little better too that might also help just a, just a thought there Aiming might help. There we go. That seems very much what we want to do. All right. I love how it just has like a rupee trail for us. No, bitch, that's not, <laughs> that is not what I was, that's not what I said at all, but you know, that's okay. That's okay. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. Everybody knows what, what I'm talking about. Everybody gets that way, you know? The hardest thing for me at so far in this game has been sidling. Like, I don't know why that has been such an issue. Also, can the camera, like, <laughs> please cooperate when I do this? The camera hates to cooperate when I sidle. Also, that word is just strange. Like, it doesn't quite sound right. But I do think that this will make a little shortcut and I'm very very lucky that it didn't knock me off of this platform I think yeah there we go that's kind of what we wanted I wonder if throwing it down there will break anything can I I would like for it to break those stones but maybe not maybe Maybe I won't count my ducks before they hatch. Maybe I just go. I think I just go. Start another cutscene. Ah, this dude, I forgot his voice. Lonk, Lonk, is that you? It is. I am pleased to see you're okay. This is his voice now, I don't know. I don't know what it was before. I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. And your sister, is she? Nah, dude, we didn't get her. Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, Lonk. Would you like to meet our chieftain? I've told my people about you, and all of us Rito are very concerned. I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of our heir. Airy? Airy? I don't know. It's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, Lonk. I'll be waiting. Period, King. Period soothing voice, King. I kind of obsessed with you just a little bit. It's, I I don't know. I like these birds. I like the these Rito. I've always I've always liked the Rito. In Breath of the Wild, I liked them. I have good feelings about them here. Uh, and most importantly, can I steal your money from your pots? Nope. You don't have any money to steal from pots. Okay, that's okay. Ooh, I love this music. Da, 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 da. Well, who, who's speaking? Well, have you discovered the cause of the great Falu's anger? Look, there I am. Ah, so you are Lonk, are you? Quill has told me all about you. A troubling tale indeed. I insist that you let us know if there is anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, 
Did you notice the dragon perched atop the mountain? Raging dragon, sorry. As you can see, we of the Rito tribe are profoundly concerned, connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. We do so by the graces of the guy, sky spirit, Valu. When a Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to receive a scale from the great dragon. It is this scale that enables the Rito to grow his or her wings. Oh, interesting. Recently, however, the once gentle Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Valu on Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. Aw, that's kind of sad. As chieftain of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? I mean, I don't really have a choice, so like, sure. Chieftain. Chieftain. Oh gosh, these, <laughs> these voices. Chieftain. What do you think of consulting Lonk with regards to your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see, Lonk is a gentle lad. I feel certain that Prince Kamali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That, that may be. Let me be direct. My son Kamali is one of the, is of the age to earn his wings, yet he is weak in some ways, and in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? Hell yeah! I mean, that seems like the only way to solve y'all's problems, so sure. I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible, so that we may better help you with yours. I have something I wish to give for you to give to my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Will you find her and take it? I am counting on you. All right, so we got to find Medley. I've heard a lot about this Medley girl. Here, Lonk, take this with you. Who knows? It might come in handy. What is it? Ooh, a delivery bag. A finely crafted bags like this are used by Rito Postman everywhere. With so many items, with so many pockets, it can hold many items. Select it on the item screen and press blah to see what you have inside. You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the Great Valu to us. In the meantime, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. They all kind of sound the same. Hmm, thinking. I'm gonna go talk to Medley, fuck that. I wanna meet her. I wanna meet her. This has not been... I said I wanted to make these episodes a little longer, so fuck it. We're going a little longer. Oh, look at that. See, I do know who Medley is. I do know that much. So, Medley, I am 99% sure you're Medley. Wow, do you really have green clothes and a strange, you really do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat. You're Lonk, aren't you? Oh, me? I'm an attendant to the great sky spirit, Valu. My name is Medley. See, I told y'all, I told you I know Medley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Here, this is from the chieftain. Lonk, he wants you to give this to Prince Kamali. What is it? What is it? What have we got? You accepted father's letter. It's a letter from a father addressed to his son. Since you've just received a fine delivery bag, why not use it to carry this letter down to Kamali? When you want to take... When you want to take it out, choose your delivery bag on items and set it to blah. The room is way in the back on the first floor. The room way in the back on the first floor is Prince Kamali's. You have to go down a couple of steps to get there. When you meet Prince Kamali, please don't be offended by his manner. He has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, um, listen, Lonk. I have a small favor I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of Dragon Roost Cavern later? I'll explain everything then. Sure. Let's get this letter to Kamali, and then I'll meet you up on the entrance of Dragon Roost. But first, Prince Kamali. Let's start there. I guess taking the taking the taking the fast way. 
Is he in here? Yeah, she said, gotta go down a couple steps and this looks like a couple steps. I swear I haven't played this game. I'm just kind of snapping today. My brains, it's just, it's just on. It is just, everything's clicking. Everything makes sense. That is fully Prince Kamali. Let's take a look at, what, what have you got? Got some birds, some little birdies, all right. And some cool decorations, okay. I It's kind of a nest, I kind of see it, I see the vision. All right, Kamali, what's up? Huh, who are you supposed to be? Bitch, I'm Kamali, oh yeah, that's right, we gotta, we gotta do our thing, okay. I open the bag, set the letter, I'll set it to X. Um, and then can we give it to Kamali? A letter from my father. He's reading. He's kind of a king. Oh, sure. Telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through the horrible experience. It's not like he still has to get a grace, a scale from Valu. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Valu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What? Are you trying to say that you can calm Valu down? Psh, that's a big fat lie. Easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you what. If you can find me someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost to get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you say. Period. I mean, Medley already asked us to meet her there, so this just seems like a win-win. Prove a little snotty brat wrong, and also hang out with someone who I'm assuming is going to become a bestie, uh, Miss Medley. So... I think that's a perfect thing to do next episode. Prove that little snotty bitch wrong. That's what I'm going to do next episode. So for now, thank you so much for watching this episode of Let's Play The Wind Waker. As always, I'm a wild Monty. If you enjoyed this episode, then please leave a like. And if you want to see more of us proving a snotty little bitch wrong, then make sure to subscribe for some more Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Until then, peace out.